Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am a freaking boss, and you can be too, here in Dungeon Boss, a game that stands above its counterparts because of its charm, its speed, and its fun. There is a link if you want to download the game, give it to you for free, click the sponsor link in the description down below, you can grab this game and play alongside me. Campaign and quest for glory. So we'll jump right into it. I've got a team of heroes, and I will pick some of them uh, to start this off. Now, this is a free game, uh, and there are some hooks where you can dump some money in, but you absolutely don't have to, and there's really no reason to because it seems to dole out rewards quite consistently, as well as heroes. The look of it reminds me of Little Big Planet meets, like, I, I want to say meets uh, Tearaway, but that's the same company. I guess Little Big Planet meets Tearaway. Uh, and then meets kind of like a Pokemon slash Digimon slash Dungeon Crawl JRPG. So it's pretty darn cool um, as we shut off. Hello, Becca and Zach. How you doing? It's December 13th, my birthday. My phone is on low battery, uh, but that's okay. We've got to move quickly here. Um, who do I want as my team? Uh, I guess I'll rock. I'm going to... Mm. I guess we'll rock with my, my strong two, my main two guys, and we'll show you uh, how they work and give you the surprise uh, visit the portal and unlock heroes. We'll do that later in the show. But first off, we are going to quest our way through some dungeons. Now, this is like a lot of games you may have seen already on iPhone uh, or Android where you work your way through dungeons fighting against a bunch of enemies that have increasing strength as you move through the levels. But what sets this one apart is A, the speed. It moves quickly. The load screens are ridiculously quick. Uh, and just the overall charm is absolutely infectious. I love the look of these guys. I love how they move through the 3D environments. I think the presentation is top notch and it's just fun to beat up some mushrooms. You got special attacks, so sniper shot here uh, can do critical damage. I'm not gonna do that. Actually, I will we'll show you. Mushroom man, you've been a bad, bad scene. So let's let my archer wail on you with a whole lot of good deed. Uh, now this guy can just come in here and slurp that goblin out the way. Grabbing a chest, what we got? Some hammers, some coins, all the different kinds of currencies. Uh, don't worry about that so much. What you want to worry about, though, is if we can take down the boss. Now, uh, there are recharge timers, and you can level up your heroes. They all get a bunch of uh, different abilities, and then you got to kind of pick who you want to level up, who you're going to work with, what team you're going to assemble, and then acquire new heroes based on the resources you've gained and gathered, and then continue to upgrade your team as best you can. I'll show you my whole... Uh, my whole stable of heroes in a second here after we beat this boss, but I like it because it's quick. Mobile games for me need to be fast if they're going to be fun. Uh, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have long bus rides or long train rides or long car rides, but I do have moments where I'm like, hey, I'd like to play something cool, clever, and that has a good art style, and this has it all. So here is Chief Jub Jub. We miss right off the bat, so I'm going to establish a wall of fire. We get, sometimes it's critical to let everyone know who's boss and heat things up, and that's what we've done. If they try to come attack us, they will feel the burn. You know, so do a little damage you may, but let us burn you. Today is the day. Killing our guy! Oh my god. As you can see, this is no laughing matter. This is not one of those games that you just like cruise through and it becomes super easy super quickly. Uh, luckily, I have some potions here. Let's open my pouch. Um, I've got a revive potion. Uh, no, I don't want to. I want, yeah, I need a revive potion. Please revive my friend! And then she can grab an attack right off the bat. You'll also see a link in the description uh, for a way to easily and quickly earn um, iTunes gift cards and Google Play Android gift cards. Now, this game doesn't cost you anything, but say you want to invest more in Dungeon Boss uh, because you'd like to buy more heroes or say you want to buy something else on the Google Play or the iOS store. Say you just want like an Amazon gift card or GameStop gift card. Click the Free My Apps link. You do easy uh, downloading of apps and surveys. It's all free. It's all legit. And you're able to win and get gift cards very quickly. I made a full video on it before. Um, it worked for me. I've already got a couple hundred dollars of, uh, of gift cards. Because you can't acquire points so fast, and the more people that you refer, you get points as well. It's very easy. You can click on the link uh, to see that video and to just register for yourself. No risk, no charge, zero credit card, none of that kind of stuff. You just download apps, and they give you points, and then you cash those points in for gift cards. It's super simple. Go check it out. Right now, though, we have to beat King Jub Jub. Uh, he is he's pretty fierce here, but I think we will get him. One more attack should do the trick, even though he's trying to smite my little magic man up top. We're going to sniper shot him for the win, and then we'll take you back to base and show you what else this game has to offer. I like it. I love it. He don't want any more of it. We get a big chest here, and then we can open up our loot, and we're getting uh, making our way towards Shadowblade and other heroes. There's a whole lot of heroes in this game, 
um, and a whole lot of collectibles that we acquire, including uh, leveling up. Hey, look, a new area opened up. Ooh, we can check out a whole new, uh, whole new area here. The Molten Burrows is where we'll go. But first, let's return home and see what's up. Uh, so there's quests, of course, that you can cash in for points. Um, that then give you currency, and all this currency is used for different things. Uh, our heroes here, uh, you'll see that Ignis the Mad, he leveled up. Um, so abilities are maxed out currently. Um, I can uh, check out his stats, you can see his traits. I can ascend him. I would need to acquire all these little evos that you find uh, during the, the different campaign missions. Uh, but let's go back and see... Ooh, who was that? Do I don't even have her, do I? There's no way, do I? Oh, I do. I have Yasmin Bloom. She's a healer. I didn't even know I had her. All right. Well, anyways, um, the other girl was here, Willow Swift, and she did level up, I believe. So her abilities can be upgraded. So we can take her uh, her regular shot up uh, there, and then we can keep upgrading it. We'll max it out, and I might as well max out her sniper shot as well. We got lots of coins, so why the heck not? Um, and then we could ascend her, but we're still missing a couple of those evos. Um, this right here uh, shows you stars and tokens. Click hero tokens to gain stars to significantly increase their stats. But I've got a whole bunch of heroes. Um, Masuda Kira here um, is one that I got from the portal, and it's a fast rogue. And you'll see that he has a death blossom attack. Shower of Throwing Blades hits all enemies two times for 68 base damage, and those have been maxed out. Um, and then he can ascend as we see fit. Um, but I want to take you guys to the portal is my favorite part of the whole thing, uh, where you can spend your gems uh, to unlock new heroes. And there will be weekly new heroes, so Augustus right now is the featured hero. Uh, this heroic summon is kind of what I want. That has the best chance to get a hero. Um, and we get a chest, and inside I found a lot of potions, 63,000 coins, 200 scrolls, and 5 life reaper coins, which is pretty darn good. Let's summon another one. I got gems of plenty, gems galore. I did dump 10 bucks of my own into this uh, just because I wanted to be able to open up a bunch of stuff and get some cool new heroes with you guys. Again, scrolls, keys. Uh, those keys can be used on basic chests, so when you unlock those keys, then you can take it back to the basic uh, chest. But I instead want to do an honor summon. Unique heroes. <sighs> We've got one go at this. <gasps> Pretty please give me someone awesome that we can use. Don't tease me. Who is inside the treasure chest? It's a... Uh... Okay, coins. Evos, gems, and potions. Alright, I really wanted a hero, but it wasn't in the cards. No heroes yet. Do you think we can get one? I still have 800 gems to go. Let's see what we got going on here. <gasps> More goodies, but again, a lot of this stuff all contributes. I feel like they're pretty generous with what they give you, and you're able to unlock quite a bit, uh, quite quickly, and then move through and unlock a whole bunch of cool guys. No new heroes for us, but we're almost at another scroll unlock. Okay. All right, so you'll see if we go back here. Um, now I've got some keys uh, for the basic summon that can be used, and we will get uh, just silver chests. So it's things like some potions. Okay, can do another summon. Uh, okay, let's see. Boom. Three potions. I can't spend ten thousand on a great summon over here. So let's do a. Uh, now the great summon costs ten thousand because I've used the keys. Um, the heroic summon I'm still short on. Uh, you can see gems. You can go up and purchase. Um, I kind of wish I could cash in my coins for gems, but that's not the way it works. Anyways, you can also buy items, gold, all that sort of stuff, but I don't really feel like any of it's necessary. Uh, we didn't get any heroes there. A little bit of a bummer. Um, but let's go back to the campaign and see if we can get enough to unlock one once and for all. Some fiery enemies here, so who are we going to take with us? We've got three slots. I want to bring the rogue. Um, so let's, let's keep my squad. You can see how they're leveled up. And then we'll bring uh, Matsune Kiro, a new hero. And I, I really just like the aesthetic of this game. Like I said, it reminds me of a high quality, uh, just art feel. Everyone's got a nice, unique look to themselves. And the enemies, like these weird, like, molten blocky wolves. Super sweet. Um, I don't know how strong they're going to be. Regular shot, will that do a trick? Ooh, no, wow. Okay, let's dagger attack these guys. I love the animations also. It's where it gets kind of like a Pokemon feel. Ooh, critical on the top. Bad man, we finish him off, and then hopefully our wand you know, can take this dude out with another critical, grabbing some coins and moving right along. So this is a shorter mission. There's only uh, three stops along the way, but some have five, like you saw. Some have two. Just kind of nice. Let's uh, let's sniper shot the wolf. Lock in, load, boom. The one thing I would add to this game to make it even better, um, if, if it was up to me, you know how like the uh, the, the Paper Mario games, how they do that whole uh, like active sort of battle where it is turn-based totally, but then sometimes you'll have to like click A or, or tap B at the right time um, to make sure that you do 
more damage or ultimate damage. I wish this game would incorporate that, so there's a little bit more uh, active behavior <laughs> while you're playing, you know what I mean? Like, a, a way for you to sort of uh, influence the battle a little bit more directly. Uh, but you can put this on auto, and then it will automatically attack. So we got Terragor here, he's a big bad wolf. Uh, I am not feeling like I'm going to be Red Riding Hood today, so we can zoom things forward. If you trust your team, you think you got this in the bag, you can just put it on auto and let them go quickly. This is a great way if you're not paying attention, you're trying to do two things at once, watch a TV show, play this game, uh, or you just want to move fast through these rounds. I find these kinds of games great for like a few weeks. Like That's kind of how they work for me. This isn't something I'll play my whole life. Uh, this isn't something I'll play even for for more than, you know, like I said, a few weeks, but it gives me a lot of fun for a few weeks, and this is the highest quality one uh, that I have seen in quite some time. Uh, so we unlock the steaming wasteland, we'll head straight there. Alright, uh, this time I'm gonna drop, uh, I'll leave behind Leaf Girl, and we'll instead bring this fire guy. You can see their elements. Um, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's just bring a whole different team so you can see a bunch of, a bunch of different guys. Uh, I'm gonna bring him just because I think it'll be helpful. Uh, for this battle to have someone strong and now there is an energy system you're seeing in the top right But I've never come uh, I've never clashed with it. It's never been a barrier to me playing at all But again, I don't play in huge bursts. So maybe that's part of it. Anyways, uh, this guy has an attack that critical melee Physical attack purges one buff chance to dodge includes armor uh, or ignores armor and cooldown of six So let's use that right away Crit on that skeleton, he is gone, and then I'm going to use my Death Blossom attack on all these dudes. I like using it right in the first battle, because then it will refresh by the time we reach the boss. And we kept our little Hammer Man out of harm's way, didn't have to do anything today, but we'll challenge him in room two out of four. I just like all the environmental touches as well, like spitting lava. I'm just It's just got a nice feel to it. Oh, this guy can use this all the time. Oh, cool. I don't know why his cooldown was totally reduced, but hey, I'll take it. Ooh, there we go. He now has a spinning attack on all enemies, which I'm not going to use. I'll just use my basic swing. So I knew it wasn't going to do a whole lot of damage, uh, but we should be able to get in here and get the kill and then save up. Ooh, nice, nice dodge there, man. He's going to get one more attack in, but I'm armored, so it's okay. Another missed member. He upped his defense and his attack, but we'll finish him off right there with a little devilish 66 damage. Grabbing a chest. Can I have some scrolls? No, but I got a lot of hammers. Not even sure what the hammers are used for. Maybe building a... Building a... Uh, what do you call those things? Not an urn, but building like a... It's like where you build a shrine! To my heroes. Um, okay, so let's go in and kill one of these guys. Now, I'm in prime position to use his hammer time attack and whirlwind damage everybody. I think the animations add a lot. Ooh, baby, two criticals. Now they've only got two attackers. Come at me, bro. Wild growth you may, wild growth you might. I will finish you all tonight. Uh, there we go. And this should do the trick. One more attack. Lickety split. All right, now we have everybody queued up for glory in the boss fight. Not perfect health, but pretty close. I just like seeing who the boss are. That's one of my favorite parts as well. Jord the Twisted drops in. Ooh, see, he's not a wolf at all, like last time. He almost looks like he's from Castle Crashers or something. We're gonna come in here and do a From the Shadows attack. I'm evading. I'm hiding. Do that critical attack. 216 damage, baby. And then we'll drop the Death Blossom on him. Beautiful. He's got some armor, so that's not so lovely. And a big hammer should swing our way towards him. He's gonna cause some ruckus. He seems like the hardest boss we face yet. Oh, wow. So we may have to use some potions here to ensure safety. And let's use our regular Slash. He's armored, so it's, it's, it's a little bit deadly. Um, I'm gonna open up my potion bag here and see what all I have. What is this one? Oh, that's fully charging heroes abilities. Fully hears heroes and revives a dead hero. I got one of each. You can bring a uh, limited number of potions into each battle. Nice dodge there. Evading expired. Um, okay, so we'll... I think, honestly, the ninja had the strongest attack. So he's gonna leech me and steal my HP, which kinda stinks. Um, so I'm gonna try an energy potion on me, then gives me back my evasion ability and that strong critical attack from the shadows, because that's a big attack, 258, way stronger than anybody else has been able to deal, so a little more strategy in this one as well than I've seen in some of the others that I've played in this genre, this is by far, like I said, I think the, the highest quality one, um, man, that's just not doing a whole lot of damage at all, maybe a spinning hammer attack and finish him off, here we go, whirlwinding our way to a what, oh, I was going to say to a wonderful victory and it would have been perfect, but I guess not. 
What's he gonna do? Running ruckus again? He's gonna kill somebody here. I know it. Oh, okay. We survived. It's okay. Evading expire, and the ninja should finish. Oh, we missed. Finished him off. Good night, foe. I will not be beat. You cannot kill me. I will never face defeat. So we got some nitpicks, some gems, a whole bunch of coins, um, and some XP along the way. Guys are leveling up, making things real pretty. Um, so now I can go check out my heroes. Who did you like best? Let me know what hero you like best in the comments below. And let me know if you play this game, who your favorite hero is uh, as well. I like Masuda a lot, so we're going to upgrade his abilities. They max out quite easily. I wish I could ascend him, but he's got a, a lot until he reaches ascension. Um, Shadow Blade is also pretty cool, but his abilities are max. Ascension for him is also kind of tough. Um, I did not use Balog. Yasmin Bloom. Ignis the Man. I might as well upgrade his stuff. Costs a lot of money. That's fine. Willow is upgraded. Stone Crusher. Max him out at tier 4, and then you need to really ascend if you want to, to do better. Um, I can complete some quests here. Get some rewards. And it looks like I got enough scrolls now to go back and try our luck once more. Low battery. I'm not afraid of you. Honor summon, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Please give us a hero. Yes! Squinch! Oh my god. It's a good guy goblin. Bathed in ketchup -y glory. Thank you, man. And I might as well use my uh, gems as well while we're here. Maybe we'll get another hero. It's a... That's a chest. But hey. 63,000 coins. Some upgrades for Masuda, some extra uh, keys for for the free summons. But I'm going to go now. I don't know what quest I just completed. Oh, I collected eight heroes. Sweet. I love how you get you get benefits for getting benefits. That's always a good thing. Um, okay, so we're going to go to the empty cages here. Sounds a little scary. Um, and I'm going to now... I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to bring in the team that I want, which is this guy. Um, actually, I kind of like the ninja more than Masuda. And I'm going to bring... Oh, wait, hang on. Here's what I want to do. If I can, I want to upgrade him before we go. Where are you at, Squinch? Squinch, Squinch, Squinch. Oh, there is, uh, Billy's already maxed? Dude, I gotta ascend you quickly. Maybe he's gonna end up not being really strong. I'm just curious what his special abilities. That's the most excited for. Um, okay, so let's, uh... You're gone, you're gone, and hello, Squinch. Okay. This is like my best lineup, I think, right here. Squinch, maybe not, I don't know. I'm just testing him out to see how, how he goes. There's a big boss, as you can see. That big gold, big gold skull. Not looking so friendly up there. All right. Come in with a strike. These guys mean business. A little fireball damage. His attack is playing with fire. Melee fire attack and all enemies spreads fire and his love of it to allies. Chance to burn. Yes. And I'm going to kill this guy. A little, little damage multiplier there, which I didn't even know about. But I'm going to save up that. There's only three rooms here, so it doesn't have a chance to refill. Uh, but we'll grab the multiplier with him, killing the, the warrior wolves, and we'll move to the next room. Let's hit this boss running hard. Got some mages. They ain't gonna stand a chance against me. Burn, baby, burn. It's interesting how the elements definitely play a role, and you're able to see what enemies you face off against, so once you get a really good grasp on the game, you'll, ab you'll be able to prepare the proper heroes for the battle. Taskmaster Gur come. Ooh, man. That's only a face a grandmother could love. Um, we're gonna come in... And do a little uh, from the shadows attack here. What if we one hit KO him? No, sir. He's got a lot of health. 360. And we're going to lay a wall of fire. It's going to be a big burn vest. We are putting down a bath of molten lava um, as that happens. And now he will play with fire himself. New animation. And he's going to go do a melee attack. Oh, wow. I burned him. Everyone got everyone got burned. Wait, did my allies? My allies got burned too. But it's like a good fire. His looks like a sad fire. Mine looks like a good fire? Is it a good fire? Look at that little happy fire face. Maybe I cause burn? Oh yeah, I'm a pyromaniac, so it does extra damage. Look at that! And we squelch him with Squinch super quickly. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That was freaking fantastic. Nicely done. And you can see all the heroes, even when you get to see their little like pictures, we're grabbing a whole lot of cool heroes, and all of them have a different look, a unique aesthetic, uh, and I like just the whole charm of the game. I think it's really, really uh, exciting. Um, there we go. Level up. My account has reached level 8. As you see, my energy is at 54 of 27. I've doubled up there. No chance of me running out, even though I've been playing you know, for 25 minutes straight or whatnot. Shadowblade here. Um, his abilities can't upgrade. Might as well. 
And then, uh, let's see, was there anyone else that could upgrade? What about Squinch? Uh, he didn't quite level up. I really wish that I could, uh, send him. Still missing Evos. Um, just to show you a few other things in the game before we get out of here. Uh, the shop you can buy, there's events, gems, gold, items. Uh, again, some of this stuff can be bought with gems, some of it with coins, a lot of it with coins, and then some with real money, but most of it uh, can be bought with coins and gems uh, that you already have, uh, which is pretty cool. And then we also have this Tower of Ponage, uh, but that requires level 28, so there is a long-term endgame here. Um, some events on this side, and this event right here, we would need to reach uh, Augustus, but the dungeon is currently locked. So can't play that, but it is an option. Uh, the portal calls us forward to unlock some more free stuff, but I'm going to challenge you instead to go grab the game for free. Link in the description below. Check it out. It's fun. It's a good time waster, but also a quality one with cool art style. You get to see your heroes wander around the village and assemble an army, a team of truly awesome adventurers. Guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go grab yourself some free uh, iTunes, Android, Amazon, GameStop, whatever you want, gift cards with the free My Apps link. Grab the game uh, with the other link. Have a fantastic day. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great weekend. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, we will see you all later.